Hey, folks. Marine, I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo team yet. I need to pick up the pace. I can't wait for it. Reaching the communication facility quickly is imperative. You're kind of breaking up there, Sonny Jim. I cannot help you with that. However, it is pretty dark in here. And I was going to say, if that was going to kill me, that would be really terrible. There's a zombie over here. And a very dark black spot. With floating, uh, floating things of death. And a cone! Hello, cone. Oh, dear lord. I'm trying to play with a cone here, man, alright? Would you like to play with a cone? No, you just want to give me a hug. Freaking douchebag. Nom, nom, nom. System offline. Well, that's terrible. It's over here. Oh dear god! I hear zombie, I hear zombie, I hear zombie, where's zombie? There's a zombie, there's a zombie. Hello. There you go. There we go. And... There we go. And there's Fat Tony! What's up, Fat... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Come on, Fat Tony, you got this. You got this. Keep on going. Come on, man. Come on. You got this. Walk through your buddies there. No, I'm not over there. I am not. There you go. That's a good zombie. Come on. Come on, man. You need to lose a lot of weight before I can smack you with some, uh, some sugar-free flashlight here. Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, buddy. What I'm talking about, buddy. Oh, dear lord. Come on. Dear lord, how did you not die? He lost a lot of weight that day. Fat Tony did. Unfortunately, he could not live to see what wonders losing weight has for oneself. He is now dead. Forever sleeping in a crouched position. Anywho, there's some things behind here. Things that we probably should pick up that may cause other things to occur. Although I could be thinking of Serious Sam in high definition, where if you pick up anything, something will happen. We're going to save yet again, because if we don't save and do all sorts of stuff, we may just die terribly. Let us unlock the doors, turn on all the lights, and get this party started. UAC takes pride in its safety record. Oh, uh, really? UAC procedures. I don't want to. Unless, of course, you give me a very good reason to, which I have yet to find a good reason to follow your stupid procedures, because everybody is a zombie! And I have no clue what that is. But I'm just going to push that down out of the way, because why not? Oh, that's a clip of bullets. Why would you give me any of those? Is it because I have enough? Well, darn. Yeah, same thing there. Alrighty, let's just go into hell and death. Hey. Yeah, I'm over here, you douchebag. It's too bad you didn't know that. I hear somebody else. Come here. You can you can come out from wherever the heck you are. Uh, Alright, fine, I'll come get you. Oh, damn it. Damn you! Damn you out the hell! Come on. Yeah. You know, now that I think about it, I think these are the guys that we're supposed to find. According to uh, that guy that was talking to us on the radio, whose name escapes me. 
Okay then. But yeah, yeah, that was that was probably the stuff that we were supposed to find. So let us uh, be entertained by hitting a foot, a very spindly foot. It goes kaplat. Oh, it almost danced. This guy looks like it kind of looks like this guy had some tattoos on his leg. I mean, look at it. Look at those freakishly freaky tattoos. And now it's just oh, there it goes. And it appeared right over here. Lovely. All right, that's enough. I don't feel like whacking any more feet today. Uh, what's over here? It's like terrible crap of terribleness. Let's uh, let's keep on going. Because it's not like anything bad's gonna happen, you know. It's not like oh, I was just about to say it's not like he's going to pop out and be all like I'm on a hug. But uh, this guy decided that he wanted a hug. Um, I hear you, zombie, but I don't know where you are. Zombie? Zombie? It's pretty dusty in here. Well, I think we should save. Before things start saying stuff. Uh, oh dear god, no, 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 Mr. Imp, no! Damn it! Damn it, Imp! No! Ugh. Freaking Imp! Oh dear god. Oh, oh boy. Oh, this is just lovely. This is just- Okay, we're, we're gonna- we're gonna reload that because... Yeah. That's just totally terrible and lovely. Instead of having the flashlight on... No! No! Bad imp. Bad, bad... Bad imp. Let us now switch to... Actually, I don't want grenades. I want this gun. Hey, buddies. Have some of your own medicine. Yeah. What now, Sonny Jim? All right. For generations, humankind has lived under the looming specter of slowly dwindling natural resources. Our new ventures on the planet have only intensified our need to find fresh sources for metals, petrochemicals, food, water, and even To meet that need, UAC researchers have developed dramatic solutions. Solutions that will soon pay off for the UAC, its investors, and indeed the entire human race. Mars itself is our chief ally and the key to our solution. Look around at its vast red deserts, rich in naturally occurring iron oxides. They are the raw materials of our future. We have developed a process that destabilizes the atomic structure of pulverized iron oxide and separates it into subatomic particles, which are then siphoned off to create new elements. Like alchemists of old, the elemental phase deconstructor allows us to transform red Martian soil into clean air, fresh water, and hydrogen fuel, the building blocks for a sustainable, human-friendly Martian environment. And this is only the beginning. With continued research, we envision creating ever more complex molecules, even organic matter itself. Having by Adam, UAC is building an ever brighter future for humankind. Um, yeah, about that uh, brighter future for mankind. Um, yeah, it, it kind of went away. So, oh dear lord, not an imp. Don't you dare make me go into that laser thingy. Oh, you should totally go in that laser thingy, buddy. So I can send you back to hell! And make you clean air. Look at that firepower. Isn't it lovely? Just going to skedaddle by.
Hey folks! Um, yeah. Freaking Bandicam was being freaking stupid. If, um, if Bandicam didn't show you, there were two imps that appeared out of nowhere here. One to two imps. And, um, I shot them both. So that's pretty much what, what uh, happened. And there's another imp. God damn you! Yeah, you try to rip me apart with your freaking tentacles of death. But that's not going to work! Because I am Doom Guy! I am ultimately, ultimately awesome. Can I just take this laser with me and um, and pick it up and um, use it for the rest of the game? Is that cool with you? I hope it's cool. In the next LP, I think we will um, just uh, go through there. So until then, folks. Until then.